Hi, I do really hope all is great with you. Today, we are going to start together a terrific journey, or if you prefer an introductory journey, to FPGA-based system design. Technology progress induces paradigm shift in computing. The invention of programmable microprocessor in 1974 has resulted in the evolution from the pure hardware-based computing to the software-based computing. Today, we are also entering in a new era, an era in which computing systems are no longer seen as monolithic, high-performing, power-angry, single-core systems. Computing systems are getting smaller. We are observing systems composed by more than one core, systems in which underlying computing infrastructure is embedding both big and little cores, and maybe even more than one for each category, systems in which heterogeneity is the key. Specialized core is trending up. Instead of just one big, let's say, super-pumped core, which is not really a technical term, but it can help us in getting the idea, we are preferring several smaller dedicated cores. Such a scenario will provide us more efficient architecture where computation is going to be executed on the most efficient element. This is also obviously introducing new issues to take care of. But you know, we are scientists. We are expecting to face these issues because they are representing new challenges that are just waiting for us to be solved. In the 21st century, due to Moore's law, the number of gates that can be squeezed into a tiny chip area has increased to such an extent that a full hardware software system can be implemented on a single chip. With the advent of what has been called System on Chip, SOC, the design of electronic consumer product has started on an era of digital convergency, leading to the integration of numerous applications onto a single device. The mobile phone is a typical example of such technologies, integrating GPRS, GSM, GPS, MP3, MPEG-4, digital camera, FM radio, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, just to bring some example, and you have it on your mobile phone. This crowded integration has also led to high power consumption, high design cost, large form factor, low means time between failure, low reliability, increased security risks, and a lot of side effects and conflicts. Many of these issues can be resolved if some of sort of adaptation is introduced into the system. Mm -hmm.